I just got a senior discount at the thrift store. Now, I'm cool with that because I save money, but it does make me ponder, do I look older than I am? I mean, it's tricky these days because people like our age and older definitely don't look our age. So I know it's a lot trickier to tell these days, but I just wasn't expecting that. But hey, I ain't hating it. Give me all the discounts. Give them to me. I'll take them. I'm not offended one bit. <laughs> but I just thought it was kind of funny. Had no intentions of filming today. Had no intentions of going to the thrift store today. Um, I don't know what made me do it, but I'm glad I did because your girl got some good stuff for the booth. For the booth. It's all for the booth. I actually didn't get anything for myself. I mean, the stuff I want. And it's, I got something like I already own. So, I knew what it was. I don't think a lot of people knows what it is. But anyway, I'm here at the Goodwill. I was on my way home. So I'm going to run in here real quick and see. Will that be a twofer? Will I get lucky at both stores? We will see. Well, let me share with y'all my little impromptu thrift haul that I had not planned on. I had not planned on thrifting. Um, So first things first, I got this. Not for what it is or anything, but I got it for these two spools because I'm going to use this when I run out of my other stuff to tie the tags onto my items for the booth. And I'm just going to kind of set it in here. It'll be great for like, because I can like pull it, pull it and cut it. So I picked this up and uh, it was $2.99. But there's so much on here. It was well worth it. And I just cannot pass that up because I will use that. So. I happened to spot the this yellow color on the bottom shelf in the back. It was on the bottom and way in the back. I spotted it. I squatted down. Look what I found. Look at this. It is um, yellow wear. That's all I know, but I'm going to put this in the booth. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh, I could just see it full of some lemonade, some sweet tea, or sitting on a table with some pretty flowers in it. Just, it's beautiful. So I got that for the booth, and then I spotted this. And I'm like, how many in here know what this is? <laughs> Look at this! Can y'all believe it? This is going in the booth because I don't need it. I have one just like it or similar to this one, but mine belonged to my great grandmother. So, um, there's no marking. Oh yeah, there is a marking. Royal, no regal. Regal wear. USA. So, this will be going in my booth. I'm not sure how what this how this works on it, but we're gonna leave it together because it came together. So, this baby will be going in my booth. And then I just got a couple of small frames. I needed them for um, a couple of different, different things. So, pick these up. They were $1.99 a piece. These are for me. They're not for the booth. So, um, when I said I didn't get myself in a thing, I, uh, I, th I was thinking I didn't get myself anything, but... I did, I got those two frames, but that's it. That is my impromptu thrift haul. Had no intentions of getting anything, but there you go. So, I will catch up with y'all later. I don't know if I'll be vlogging anymore today or if we'll just pick up tomorrow. We'll see. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day. Y'all, this weather has been crazy, insane. The winds yesterday was horrible, and I even got a little alert that it was, there could be some tornado activities. Thank goodness we didn't get any of that, and it started raining through the night, and we didn't get any, like, bad weather. Um, we just got a lot of rain, and the wind seems to have died down some, so that's plus. 
and I didn't know if I was even going to be able to go to my booth today <laughs> because of the weather. Um, I need desperately to go, but I just, I didn't know. But I think I'm going to get to go. I've already got the car loaded up, and I'm dressed. I'm kind of waiting to see if my mama's going to come. She don't know yet. She's kind of waiting to see about the weather. Um, whether she comes or not, I'm going. Um, but I wanted to share with y'all a few things that she gave me. <sighs> and I love them so much. And um, one of them, I've got it setting somewhere. I kind of like it there, but I don't know if it's going to stay there. But it does. It's very sentimental. Y'all know I'm a sentimental. I just, I love anything with family history. But before I show y'all that, I was going to show you where I did put my coffee pot. I put it up here with the grinder. Let me flip the camera. I moved it. I moved it up here and the lights aren't blinking. That's just the LED lights. Um, that's how they look on camera, but I put it by the coffee grinder and then I kind of put my shortening can over here by the rolling pins. So that's what that's looking like. And I don't think anything else was really changed any down here or anything. So let me show you what she gave me. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love it so much. Okay. First of all, it's right here, this little Bible. And I'm gonna show you what's so special about it. I do have my little, he lives and my little lamb sitting on it like a, for some Easter decorations. So let me take that off and I'll show you why this is so special. Now, I recently thrifted one like this. I have it on the other side, but this one is so much more special, and I'm about to show you why. <sighs> when you open it up, this is her handwriting when she was little, Deborah Massey, and this is the address, the old address to my great-grandmother's house. And, hold on. It's fallen apart. Look. <gasps> Y'all, this is priceless. Priceless, I tell you, priceless. I love this little Bible. So I told her when she got it, I was like, I want it and I'm gonna display it and it just, priceless. Okay, let me put it back and I'm gonna show you the other thing. The other item is this bust of Jesus. I'm going to take it down. I just kind of set it up there the other day when she gave it to me just so it wouldn't get broke. But I'm kind of liking it up there. Kind of. But let me pull it down and I'm going to share it up close and tell you the story behind it. Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like. It only has one little chip right there. This is the bottom of it. I haven't wiped it off or anything. I need to wipe it off. But this belonged to my great aunt my granny's older sister, and it was always in her house. And her granddaughter gave it to my mama. And I told mama, I said, I want that because I will set it out and display it. I love it so much. Like I said, I need to wipe it off and clean it up. I just set it up there the other day because I didn't want it to get broke. But I don't know anything about it. It says it's a Holland mold. I know nothing about it. I guess I should Google Lens it. So let me Google Lens it, and I will show y'all. I had a request to show y'all how Google Lens works. So let me set up and show you how to Google Lens something. And we'll Google Lens this and just see. I don't know anything about it. Might not be anything out there to know, but we'll find out. Okay, <laughs> here's our thing that we're gonna Google Lens. I know, it's, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm trying to do this. So. On my phone, I pull up, I go to Safari. My mama just texts, they're on their way. So she's coming, okay. Um, I go to Safari on my phone and I go to Google. Well, I go to Google and right here on Google, you're gonna see this little camera icon and you click on it, okay. And this is gonna come up, so you're gonna click on the camera right here. And this is going to allow you to take a picture. So let me do this like this. So we have our thing here. We have our picture here. We're going to put our pic or put our item. Maybe it would be better to do it like this. Let me see. I'm trying to get to where y'all can see me do it. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put our 
item in our lens, and then you're gonna take a picture. And when you do, it's gonna outline it. And if it's not got the whole thing, you can move it out a little bit like that, okay? And then it's gonna pull up anything related to it. Okay, here's one right here. Jesus bus statue, $23. A vintage Holland mold white glaze, $53. And you can click on them and learn about them. We can visit this. And it takes us to Etsy, to the shop. There's only one available vintage Holland mold, white glaze, ceramic, Jesus bust, religious statue, seven inches, 5346 is what they're wanting on eBay. Um, but that isn't 20% off. There's one available. So then you can go back. Um, uh, let's see, you can go back to Google and it will just show you anything related to the item. And when I say I Google lensed it, that's what I'm talking about. So I hope that helps y'all. So this is worth a little bit, not much, but it's, it's worth more to me for the sentimental value of it. Um, I just love it. But any item that you find that you're not sure what it is, how it's used, you just want a little more information about it. Not necessarily, I, I Google lens things when I just don't know what they are. Um, it's not always to find out if it's valuable because if I love something, I love it. It really doesn't matter about the value, but I mean, I do like to find out things, what they're worth. Um, so yeah, so this is a Holland mold statue of Jesus, ceramic statue of Jesus. And I love it. And the fact that it was in my aunt's house, every house that she was in, I think she only had like two houses or whatever, but it was always in her home and her name was Evelyn. And she was my Aunt Evelyn. And I remember going to visit in my Aunt Evelyn. And um, she actually helped me. She was a nurse for years. And when Delana was a baby, um, <clears throat> when she was two weeks old, she got put back in pediatric intensive care for a week because we didn't know what was going wrong with her. We eventually learned that she had acid reflux and all that, but at the time we didn't know. And we didn't have a clue. We were just like, at the mercy of these doctors and nurses. And um, I remember my Aunt Evelyn, uh, we would call her and ask her questions because she was with it up until the day she died. Um, and she would tell us, don't let them do this or whatever you do, don't do this. You know, she would just give us her opinions and tell us why. And uh, I listened to her because she was spot on. And I remember I was, I can't remember how, exactly how old I was. I wanna say I was probably 11. 10, 11, 12, that area, and I was skating at my cousin's birthday party. We had a skating party, and right when we were getting ready to leave and get off the skate floor, I fell and broke my wrist, and my Aunt Evelyn just happened to be at my granny's house, and she told us exactly where it was broke just by looking at it, no x-rays. So, they knew their stuff back then. Not saying they don't now, but you know what I'm saying, just She's a wise woman. So the fact that I have something that belongs to her or that belonged to her, she's no longer with us, just really means so much to me. Y'all know I am a sentimental fool. I love all the things sentimental. So I'm gonna show you two other things that was given to my mother by the same person that gave her this and how I, I put my spin on it. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you what they are, show you where I've put them and everything. So let me get this put back up and I'll show you that. Okay, if you've been with me for a while, you may know that I have some of my great grandmother's quilts that she made that my mom gave me that I have in my hallway. Well, I'll show you those real quick. Let me show you. Sorry about the lighting. Let me see if this slight lamp will help. No, I didn't do too much. Okay, hold on. So these are some of my great grandmother's quilts right there. And I love them so much. And this is a dolly that my great grandmother made. This is actually my great grandmother and my mama. It's my granny's mama. A little note. And then here she is standing outside her house. She was Mama Moore. Precious. I still remember her. I remember her well. I remember her house, all of that, which is odd because I don't remember a lot, but I remember her. Okay, so. This was given to my mother. This is a quilt piece from Mama Moore. 
And I thrifted this frame the other day, well, yesterday actually, and it was red and I painted it black and I've framed it here and I've got it on the wall in my hallway, very fitting kind of across the way. And I just love it. But it was in a frame, it had a heart mat, so you didn't get to see a lot of it. So I took it out of that. And below it was another, it was a little cross stitch piece that I framed separately and I'll show you where I put it. I put it right here and I'm gonna open it up to show you and I'll show you why I put it there. This is that other little frame that I thrifted and this fit perfectly in it. The mother is the heart of the home and I love it, but it was in a frame all together and I wanted to separate it. So I put it in this and I've put it right here in this cabinet. And I put it here because here is a picture of my mother with my brother and me. Look at that hair, y'all. <laughs> I do have a biological brother. He does not like to be filmed. He's very, very private. So I don't ever talk about him or show him because he's just very private and doesn't like that. And I respect that. So, but I do have a brother, a younger brother. I'm the oldest. And that's why I've put that there because y'all know how I feel about my mama. I love that woman with all of my heart. She is my everything. So I have a piece from my cousin that made this. My second cousin, she made that. And it was in the frame with the other, with the quilt piece, but I've separated them. And I just, you know, I love that. And I have a piece of her. I have a piece of Mama Moore. I'm just all up in the fields. You know what I mean? It has just been one of those weeks. It's just been an emotional. I've been in my fields this week. And I think it's because it's the time of year. We're getting ready to celebrate Easter. And this week is always very emotional for me. So, anyway. But I did want to show y'all those things because they just mean so much to me. And I just love sharing stuff like that with y'all. So, um, I hope that you just enjoy that little bit of my family history. <laughs> Oh, I want to show you where I put those little chicken salt and pepper shakers that I thrifted the same day that I thrifted that. I've put them right here. They're just so tiny. They'll just kind of go anywhere, and I love them. I was cleaning them up, and some of the paint was coming off of them. Um, so, I want to be careful with them because I'm, I don't... I should use my Google Lens on these, but I haven't. I don't know if they're vintage or anything, but I just love them. And I love how tiny they are. Like I said, they'll just kind of fit anywhere. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so my mom is on her way, so that's a good thing. We're going to leave the fur babies here while we go to the booth. Um, and then we'll just come back and, and pick them up if we go thrifting or anything like that. But baby gets so scared of the weather, so she didn't want to leave her at home. I said, we'll just bring her here with Buster. We'll just put her in the little pan with Buster. There's plenty of frame for him. And we're, we're not going to be going long that long. And then we can come pick them up. We decide to thrift or anything. And um, I have my camera on the, I have my camera on the mantle so I can see. But I wanted to show y'all a couple things that I added to my mantle to represent um, Easter. Um, and it's a couple things. Well, one of the things I thrifted and the other I got from Hobby Lobby. So let me show you. So I used this last year. I thrifted this, the shepherd with the little lamb. And I, I, that, I bought these little lambs. There's two here and then there's the one there. They came from Hobby Lobby, but their nose and mouth was orange. And I just touched it up with some darker paint and I liked it so much better. And I just kind of put it right here with the cross, this lamb, these little lambs, the shepherd. And then I put these, this cross here, the faith. And then I have this cross here with love. And then the one over there on that little Bible that says he lives. And that's really the only thing I've added to the to my mantle. Just to represent the true reason that we have this holiday that we celebrate. I mean, I love my little bunnies because they're just so adorable. But it's not about a rabbit in this house. It's about this. And it's about that. And the love. That's what it's about here. So anyway, that's what I've done. And I thrifted this old Bible 
a couple weeks ago. I never showed y'all where I styled it, but I just kind of stood it up here. I still haven't done anything with this box, y'all. It's still got the heart and the pine cones. I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but anyway, that's all I've done. That is all that I have done, um, but I'm excited to get to my booth and get um, those things put out. I am working on, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm working on. <laughs> so these came out of some frames that I had thrifted for Delana. They're just these little plastic keys and they were white and then these little pieces like where the keys would go in. So I got the idea to paint them black. I did that yesterday, I've let them dry. And then I'm gonna go over them with some rub and buff to make them look old and vintage. And I just thought, I mean, they're flat on one side, but nobody's gonna know. And I'm just gonna make them look old and rustic and style them somewhere. I may even put them in that little box up there. That would be cute, wouldn't it? And then I don't know what I'll do with these. But I'm going to go ahead and rub and buff them in case I ever come up with a project. These would be cute on like a little birdhouse. I might get James to build me a little vintage birdhouse. Or look vintage birdhouse with some of that old wood out there. But that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, so, now that they're dry, I'll, I'll work on that later. Got us a new flag. Um, our other one was turning pink where the white stripes was, were. So I ordered this one from Amazon, got it yesterday. And I love it, it's made in the USA. It's got the embroidered stars and it's sewn. And I think it's gonna be a better quality. This is a two and a half by four. And I'm gonna be hanging that, replacing our other one. So I will just use the other one. I won't get rid of it, but I will kind of use it in my booth for the summer for displays. I had to take this off the door because the wind was just blowing like crazy. I had to kind of stuff my pillows and move them because it kept blowing them off. And it even blew my lantern over. One time I had to go pick it up. James brought his, this in so it wouldn't get wet. But yeah, we needed the rain. The guy come and cut the grass yesterday. He's supposed to come and weed eat and edge and everything today. But Oh my goodness, look y'all, I just spotted it. Look, <gasps> look, oh my goodness. That is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous. I got daylily buds. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all know I'll be showing y'all my flowers. <laughs> I love to see them. Oh my goodness. I did kind of prop my rose bush up a little bit. It needs to be trimmed up. And I need to get another hook to hang on the fence to hang that other little pot that I put in my booth. It didn't ever sell, so I'm just gonna hang it up there and put a plant in it. I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom of it. Like I did that old pot. I wanna get some red geraniums to go in there. I'll probably get red geraniums for the other pot too. <laughs> Poor old chicken. Wind done got him too. I just kinda set that old wash tub in the corner like that. Just kinda take up some space where we dug up that tree. And I like it there. I really do like it. So I may leave that. But I think I've caught y'all up on everything. Your girl body hurts today. Because not only did I go to the gym and work out, but I came home and deep cleaned some stuff um, and really gave our bedroom a good cleaning and bathroom, shower, all that, clean my ceiling fan, um, all of that. So between that yesterday, the workout and the cleaning of the house, your girl is feeling it, but I like to feel it because I like to know what areas I'm targeting and I like to be a little bit sore. I know that probably sounds crazy, but it kind of lets me know, okay, you're doing something. So I don't mind being a little sore. I don't want to be so sore. I can't move. Mom's here. I mean, it's about time you show up for work. Somebody got to get back and straighten that booth. <sighs> Slacker. I'm we don't do two weeks on and two weeks off now. I didn't mean to. Well, I'm ready. To, I'm raring to go. Let's go work. You get that tell me how straight. to do it? Yeah, I got to tell you how to do it. Okay. Um, if I don't go, you don't go. 
I do go. I just didn't go last week. I was sick. I woke up Tuesday, but it was just allergies, a bad case of allergies. It's okay. It's this time of year. I love your little tree. What is that? Oh, I, they have to tell me every year. I think it's a shrimp plant or something like really? that. Really? I forget. I have to look it up. I love it. Why don't you get a piece of that and put your tree out in the middle right here instead of that blueberry one that's going to get everywhere. Well, that, that one's going to get pulled up and taken back to George County. <laughs> but, uh, because there wasn't no piece I could get off of it. And there's okay. a whole grafting process you have to go I through, and I ain't do all, all that. So. But I, I am hunting me a yellow rose. Yeah, oh, well, I can find you a yellow rose. I'll get you one for Mother's Day. Oh, yes. See, y'all. <laughs> this spoils me. <laughs> I have to have that fine balance between discipline and spoiling. Because when I don't want to, I don't want to brat. So I have to have that balance. Well, now let's just know that <laughs> brat mode can be got into real quick <laughs> but today's work mode i won't get paid unless i work mm -hmm. that's right <laughs> all right we'll see y'all at the booth yeah look we got the work the mom has already been in here moving stuff around that was over here we put this there well y'all can see <laughs> you know this would be so cute if somebody wanted to add shelves that's what i was just thinking shame that didn't have shelves That'd be cute, but we got a lot of work to do. So, mm -hmm. looks like one of these is gone, but I don't think it's sold. I wonder if somebody. Oh, there's one right here. Dude. A little bitty one? No, it's one of these. I wonder if it's got. Oh, yeah, unless it's been moved. Might have got stolen. I don't see it. Who knows? Here it is. Oh, good. Oh, well, that's kind of cute over there, wasn't it? By the blue bottle. Mm hmm. And fall if you put it on that edge. We'll just leave the one there. We'll put the one here. Yeah. You know we're gonna move it a hundred times. Of course. Anyway, let us get busy. Aww. So cute. Let us get busy putting the new stuff out, rearranging some of the old stuff. Okay, this one and that. Yeah. I wonder what baskets. Oh, I get that basket sold. Okay. Let us get busy, y'all. I can't keep talking to y'all. Oh, look, all this silver. I'm probably going to take that home because it ain't never going to sell. Okay. We'll see. Okay, who's getting their grooves on now? What's this? we got an empty space up there by the blue canisters. We've got to fill that up. But I love this. Look how that's looking so cute. If I owned that, I would have shelves built in there. Good. I don't know why somebody not buying them shell. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now I look like my grandmother's and it's even got that little thing on top that mama had back years ago. What? On oh, this pie yeah. thing? Yeah. Or plate thing? Could even we carry the picnic. This. We kind of sit. Mm-hmm. Big butt. Is she earning her keep, y'all? I'm trying.
All right, Deb. How you feel about it? I feel good about it. It looks very full, and Georgia has sold everything that we have. Awesome, man. We got it full and looking good now. She'll have to show you. Well, last time I came over, I had so much stuff, and I was like, even if I, that's why I hadn't been stressed, because I hadn't found a lot. I was like, I have enough that I can kind of spread out, and that's exactly what we were able to do. Right, and it just really looks good in that suitcase thing. I love the Would that not be perfect in a little boy's room at the foot of his bed for his toys or extra blankets or stuff like that? A little girl, hope chest. I don't even know if they do hope chest anymore. <laughs> do they even know what they are? Somebody, some grandmas need to tell them. Okay, girls, you see this? My friend, what did I have to say? Luana. Luana. Thank you, girl. I'm enjoying it. No tour handles or anything. It looks so good on me. And you me. won't believe who got mine. The princess. She needed it, though, Luana. So. I was like, really? <laughs> really? Well. But thank you. But anyway, and it had a light inside. Oh, I loved it. I almost kept it myself. If I did the crossbody, you know I'd have kept it. But thank you for my purse. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Y'all spoiling the mama. Hey, it's not tore up and shredded like my other one was. I just felt so pretty when I had to go to the wakes and the funerals and all that thing. We have like two deaths in our family. Yeah, and I mean, I look so good. <laughs> Can't help it, I did. Well, I am sufficiently wore out. I am too, and I'm <coughs> wind blown. But we did pretty good. Got some really good things. Mm -hmm. After a dry run on a couple. We didn't do too bad. Let's go on to uh, the fact that we are so windblown. She looks all right. I'm going to have to start wearing my hat, I reckon. Hey, when it, we woke up, it was storming. <laughs> I was like, eh, eh. I ain't fixing my hair. <laughs> well, my hair is windblown. Let me tell you what uh, somebody suggested that I do What's a that? video on. Oh. And they said, oh, you should style, you should cut and style your mother's hair and show us how you do it. I said, I can't fix her. <laughs> no, but I am old fashioned when it comes to my hair. I use the old hot rollers, the felt ones, so they don't burn your hair. And I buy the clips to go on them. And I use the I've, biggest ones. I've tried fixing, cutting her hair and fixing it before, and she didn't like my way. So I she just. She does the cutting. I don't let anybody else cut it. And I do the fixing. And I just give her the. I'm fixing the age myself and my mother. <laughs> I give her the gypsy shag. <laughs> yep, I love that. And you know what? I've asked other folks for it, and they don't know what it is. <laughs> it's literally layered from front to back. Yeah, I like all that. over. Hey, but y'all see? And they used to call it pretty. They used to call it the gypsy, the gypsy shag. shag, and I always loved that hairstyle. So yeah. that's how I cut her hair. If y'all so, ever wondering. Okay, the mama and baby just left. The puppers did so good. We left them here because. Um, it's getting too warm to leave them in the car to go in the booth, and it's just too much to have them both. But, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to share with you what I picked up for the booth. Like I said, I only got a couple things for myself. The rest is for the booth. Um, and then I bought one thing for myself, and she took it. I bought a little cute little wreath of one of those little mini wreaths and she took it but what you gonna do well, how you gonna tell the mama no she don't take no for an answer <laughs> so let me share with you what I picked up so this will be going in the booth um it's a bagged item from the thrift store I don't even know if they still make these y'all have to educate me if you know but I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. James may want it. If he wants it, of course he can have it. But if he doesn't want it, then I'll be putting this in the booth. Oh my gosh. I mean, do y'all remember these? I'm not going to undo the whole thing. But I picked this up. And it will, like I said, be going in the booth unless he wants it. So, got that. I picked this up for the booth. I thought this was so cool. This copper grater, and honey, let me tell you what, that sucker is rough. That will do some grating right there, but it's got the brass and the copper, and I thought this would be really pretty in somebody's kitchen, maybe that has like the, 
the little thing behind their over their stove where they hang the copper pots and stuff to hang this there. I love it. I don't have anywhere for it, but I thought it was really nice. And then I got another bagged item because I recently just sold these in my booth and I come across them quite frequently. Um, and so I decided I would pick them up and I'll put them in the booth. Um, oh, they all have them on one thing. Hold on. Not the plastic, but, and I'll probably separate these, but these vintage measuring spoons there, and then they have these. I actually like these and might keep these for myself, but I'll definitely be putting them in the booth. So, got those, and then it had this set of plastic ones with it that I don't need, so I'll probably just donate that back. Got that. Okay. Then I picked up this beautiful shower curtain for myself for my bathroom. Fizz and sneeze. It's dust or pollen. I don't know which one. Anyway, I paid $5.49 for it, and I thought it was really pretty. And I'm thinking I will hang it up in there more leaning toward fall. But, I mean, it would even be pretty for summer, but it's like a beige. It almost looks like that caning, like the, the cane back chairs, the caning on them. It looks like that design, but it is a beautiful shower curtain. And yeah, I got it for my bathroom, so. Okay, I picked up this stool that I'm going to be keeping for myself. I love these legs. I am going to recover it, um, but I paid $6.99 for this. And then my other stool that I have in my bedroom, I will probably put that one in the booth and keep this one in the place of it because I really like these legs. So, yeah, got that. I picked up this rug at the Goodwill. It's a, it looks like it might be like a four by six. I got this to go in my booth, to go on the floor of my booth. Um, I will probably put a price on it in case somebody wants to buy it, but I really did buy it to just go on the floor of my booth. I've been looking for one for quite a while. And this one I can use, I can definitely use Christmas, January, February, and then I'm getting ready to do my summer, which I'm going to do like a lot of red, white, and blue. So I think this will go well for that. It'll even look good in the fall. So yeah, I did get this. Got some blacks, some reds, and burgundies, and golds, and it's got a little bit of green in it, like a sagey green, just a little bit here and there. So it looks to be in great condition. And uh, like I said, I will be putting this in my booth. Isn't that pretty? I'm telling you, y'all don't sleep on the Goodwill on the rugs. So I got that. Okay, this last item I bought with the intent to go in my booth. But after I got home, I'm thinking about, mm, I might need to hang on to it. And you'll see why. Look at this cute little red rocking chair. Y'all know I already have one like this that my grandbabies love. It was Cody's. Well, then I found this one, and it is in great condition. It's so sturdy. And they always fighting over that one chair, so I'm thinking I may leave this one in here. Like, I have a spot for it. I can leave it in here, and when they come, they won't have to fight over it. And this one's a little bit bigger. So the older one or the bigger of the two can get this one. And then I can always put it in my booth later, but... I think it is so cute. It was only $6.99. And that's a great deal on this little red rocker. So, and initially it was to go in the booth, but I think, I think even James is going to agree that I need to keep it just for the littles, for the grandbabies. And hopefully one day we'll get some more grandbabies. But, you know, but that is my thrift haul. So... I'm, I'm excited about what I got. I mean, it's kind of starting to build back up my inventory. I took everything I have today, so I have no inventory. So now we just start over replenishing the inventory. <laughs> but before I go, I wanted to have a little chat with y'all about yesterday's video. Um, the weekend, the week in my life where we celebrated Delana's birthday. We went to my dad's. I need to clear up something. 
TVs on in there. I did not mean to cause any confusion or make y'all think y'all are losing or whatever. Um, I had several, several comments about my dad and my mom and the living situation. And um, y'all didn't miss anything. I never really went into detail. I did not discuss it. I had, the only thing I had mentioned was a couple of years ago, I mentioned that I was going through a really hard time, um, that I couldn't get into it. Um, and I'm not gonna get into it now as far as the details and the this and the that, but I will say that my mom and dad are divorced. Um, they've been divorced for a little over a year now. Uh, it was amicable. They remain friends. They still help each other out. Um, and that has, that is the only thing that has made this process a little bit easier is because they do get along and they are cordial and remain friends. But I didn't go into detail about this. It's been a very painful process. Um, and you know, our family is just now, two and a half years later, just now, maybe even three years, starting to kind of heal and get used to the new norm because my kids, 32 and 30, and all they have ever known is their mama and papa is married together, you know, and he's not my biological dad, but he's the only dad I have. And, um, He's been my daddy since I was 14 years old, and he is my ride or die. I love him, and um, it's just been very painful. So, that's all I'm going to say about that, but I did not mean to cause any confusion. You know, I know that I get on the internet, and I share my life, and I share a lot, but there are just some parts of it that's just very painful, and quite honestly, just not my story to tell. So, I hope y'all understand that. I hope it clears up any confusion. And, um, yeah. So, just wanted to say that a little bit. I tried to answer in the comments. I was hoping that others, if they had questions, could go back and read the comments. But, we're going to be okay. We're healing and God is good. And, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, I just would like to say thank y'all so much for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't even know what all I have recorded, but hopefully it, you've enjoyed it and you feel like you're hanging out with a friend and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.